Oh, you see What's up guys, welcome back, back to another video. So we're out here tonight in the deep cuts of Mexico. Mexico, <laughs> Mexico, you know. Anyways, I literally, oh, let me just get my work sweater off. Well, just... <laughs> we're out here being scampled. Oh, mucha ropa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn way, you've been working out. Yeah, fool. How'd you know? <laughs> I saw the six times. <laughs> Before I show you guys the, the little scenes we took, um, took a couple days ago at night with uh, Alex trying to drift and stuff, um, let me talk about his car really quick because I don't think I actually talked about it. So we're in the little, we're in the, some back roads near my house. Um, I wanted to insert this video before we showed you those scenes. So Alex picked up a Z4 for the channel. Say hi, Alex. Okay. Sorry guys, it's a little camera shot. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna go over really quick of what he's done to it. Um, not crazy much. Um, I think the first thing was the exhaust, huh? Yeah. Damn, this camera sucks. I, oh, there you go. Uh, adjusted. So the first thing he did was the exhaust. So right now he's running a um, muffler. no muffler and no yeah no resonator. So he did a complete resonator and muffler delete. Um, he has a dual tip. He got these um, what is it like blue chrome smoked out look. Well, that's about him, huh? That's about it. But he spent what, like 400 bucks on the thing? Because I don't know. I don't think it was worth paying 500 bucks for that, but it sounds cool. It sounds clean and it burbles and pops and stuff like that. Um, probably a lot more louder than my A90, but um, this car's sick. He got it with the red interior, obviously. No, no top, drop top. Um, it's pretty clean. Let me show you guys inside real quick. A lot of people were asking me when I posted it on Instagram if this was the N54 version. Uh, sadly, it's not. Two engine, let me pop the hood for you guys. It has the N52 engine, but it's a little bit newer version than what I have. Uh, mine only produces around 230 horsepower versus his. Um, he produces around 255. So that's a little bit of a jump up, a little bit more torque, obviously. So, And then it's a lighter car, so it just feels fun because i already drove it and it's a it's a lot like snappier like the throttle response and everything's a lot like it, it's a lot snappier um can't get it open is it still stuck yeah. do i need to do it twice i know in my f32 i have to do it twice no that's it you, you're probably not doing it right i know this anyways like i was saying so this guy has the m52 engine like I was saying, a lot of people, like literally, I got blown up the day I posted this car on my Instagram. They're like, oh, blah, 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 is that the M54, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just gonna be hella quick. It, it, the M52's half potential, there is a turbo kit for it that he can install and, and do all that stuff. But for the for the money and the price and everything, if, if, it, if he has the money, if he has time, he can do it. It'll still be a fun car with turboed. It'll be pushing probably like 400 horsepower and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just the M52 engine. Like I said, it has a 255 uh, horsepower. Uh, very similar torque. It's still a, definitely a, a nice and fun car, but yeah, this is the car we added to the channel Definitely looks nice. It's a, it's a 2009, right? Yeah, it does a nine You have like a week With it, huh? Maybe a week or two and like I was saying so the we can have yeah, it's not too bad um, I love this red interior. It looks so nice and he has the sport seats and two so these guys hella like hold you in pedals all that stuff. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the iDrive, but my 328 has the iDrive. It literally worked for a couple months and then the screen died out. I ended up replacing it twice and both times they were the different uh, version. They were like the upgraded version. So they had the, um, I'm, for I'm for forgetting, they had like the, what was the, my iDrive system? Remember it had the speakers and I couldn't do it because the audio. Hi what is it? Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? I don't know, it seems kind of weird. I probably need to do a little bit of research, but it had, uh, I think he said hi-fi. 
Um, so it's just uh, it's just the more premium version of the speakers. So my 328 only has I think like six speakers, and the other one had like eight or twelve or whatever it was. So it was a different system. So I got the iDrive like screen working, but there's but there's no sound at all. So I literally can't listen to any music. So if you're getting any E90s, I definitely recommend just doing the regular stereo, which is what he did because it's perfect. It looks a little bit odd not having anything here, but this is gonna last you like a like years and years and years and even you can replace this if you need to versus the iDrive is going to die out right away because a bunch of people that have the iDrive they, their screens go out or the audio goes out so something always happens with the iDrive they weren't really made like to last a crazy long time so this car has 78,000 miles a lot of life left I really like this steering wheel it's nice definitely has like sports do you, do you know if you have the sport uh, it has a sports package, sport package? Sport package and everything, yeah. damn sick asshole I like not having a roof anyways let me bring this up because it's getting kind of cold is this one right uh, yeah. damn hella sick hella white girl bro <laughs> that's another thing i kind of don't like that this part is tan versus everything else is black and red which is hella sick so this is the project car guys this is one of the cars that we added to the channel including my 28 and the, Z, uh, the 435 and obviously patrick still has his mk6 um, not too sure what he's going to be doing with his car just yet i know he added some lowering springs a couple weeks ago but just wanted to show you guys the car and two things i think that got messed up on the scenes i'm going to show you the little fender clip like messed up did you end up fixing that no, no. <laughs> so that when you close the hood and the fender it doesn't meet like perfectly <laughs> you guys are gonna see right now but when this guy was like doing like a crazy ass donut he must have hit like a pothole or something and the clips don't like fit perfectly it's an easy fix it's just the clips that don't like clipped on properly we probably just have to pull it up and clip it on um, i'll probably see if i can do that right now and this fool ended up losing his uh side markers <laughs> he was driving on the freeway and they just went flying out um he did order replacements stay tuned because we're gonna do a video of when he gets them done and gets them installed so this car is gonna look completely different in a couple months and next year you guys won't even recognize it here he knows what wrap he's gonna do here he knows what wheels he's gonna do he's gonna order the side markers it's gonna look sick and if you guys didn't know n52s have a sick ass tune um i'm gonna put a little like web page right here because i'm totally blanking out on the name but it's super sick because those guys are, are pretty sick and i know they have a tune where it burbles just like mine and it can shoot flames depending on how your exhaust system is set up so right now if he orders the tune he might mess up his catalytic converters because they're, they're, they're the primary ones so if he tries to two-step and like flames start coming out he's definitely damaging his uh, primary cat so i told him to wait a little bit try to get headers that way it's just a complete straight pipe that way he, if when he needs to pass smog he can actually pass smog right so definitely a cool sick car bunch of content coming out in this car pretty soon i just wanted to go over really quick of like what alex got uh, before i showed you all the the crazy stuff we did <laughs> Oh, and the scenes I'm gonna about to show you legit were like what, like a day, two, two days of ownership. Day two days. <laughs> Literally, he owned the he's he's at the car for two days, and then we shot that video, so it was pretty crazy. And no, 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 <laughs> let him go. This is fool. He was trying to. <laughs> what if you hit him? Me? My car would totally be like be totaled. Um. Anyways, we got back in the car. It was freezing cold. It's like what? What is it? 47 degrees. Hell no. Let's go back inside. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna show you those clips of what we did when he when he first got the car. It's kind of crazy because he's this is his first car, right, guys? That feels like what 19? <laughs> That's literally his first car, and he's always wanted a BMW. So I'm happy for you, bro. You finally got your, your, your pretty much a dream car. So I'm going to end the vlog right there. Hope you guys enjoy the next scenes because it's kind of crazy that he owned the car for two days and then we took it out doing this. So that fool's, like keep in mind, that fool's like 19, right? This is literally his first car that he's ever purchased. And I'm pretty excited that he bought a BMW. That way we can grow the BMW like community and stuff. So if you guys want a Z4, if you guys are planning on getting a Z4 or just not even, like never even heard about the car, subscribe to the bottom because there's a bunch of content coming out and yeah just enjoy the next scenes and i'll catch you guys on the next video
You good? That's all the gas? Alex, put this this way. Do a burnout real quick, right? At the, right here? I know. We'll do it right here. St go back a burnout and do a burnout and then just turn the steering all the way, right? You get me? Hey, I'm about to hit the tree. <laughs> here then. See if you could do a burnout right here. And then turn the steering wheel all the way and just dump the this way. Uh, just let go of the brake, right? Turn the steering wheel all the way and don't let go of the gas. Leave it on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go! Traction control was it off? <laughs> was traction control off? You think you could do it in his car, Brian? <laughs> I don't know.